Today is Sunday, and it is March 25th. Today I'm reading from Satsang, Tales of the Mystic East, for Satsang. Tales of the Mystic East, Hazur Maharaj Sawan Singh Ji, Radhaswami Satsang, B.S. India. Here's a quote by Kripal, one of the great saints. Where dost thou seek me? He says, Lo, I am beside thee. I am not in outer rites and ceremonies. I am by thee, with thee, within thee. Thank you for joining me today. Together we. So I'm going to choose... For the palace of God. Okay. 15. Okay. I just feel like in these times, you know, there, I don't even have to explain myself, but, um, satsang, sit in truth, very, very important for us to hear these words, to hear these stories. The palace of God. When Guru Nanak was at Mecca, the famous Muslim Kazi Ruknuddin said to him, Tell me, O Nanak, can you describe to me the palace of God? How many towers does it have? How many doors? And how many turrets? Guru Sahib smiled and told the Kazi, Know thou, O Ruknuddin, that the palace and temple of God is in the human body. Of towers, it has twelve, three on the right arm, three on the left, the hands, forearms, and the upper arms, and similarly three, each on the right and left legs, feet, legs, and thighs. The palace has nine doors, and these, O oh Ruknuddin, are the two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two, the mouth, and the the lower the two lower apertures it is 52 turrets 32 teeth in the mouth and 20 nails on the hands and feet guru nanak paused for a moment and then continued but god's palace of light the spiritual realm is beyond the 52 turrets the nine doors and the 12 towers for it is there that an everlasting fountain of nectar flows it is there that you will find Ismit, the everlasting lotus. Form this palace of light. God is constantly calling to us from above, but we are asleep and hear him not. But the way to the palace of light is through the human body, the palace or the temple of the living God. The Satguru awakens the disciple and teaches him how to go inside the human body and through it find the path to God's great palace. A quote by Guru Ramdas. The human body is a city, the rarest of gems and rubies there await thee. Acquire them by devotion and service to the Satguru. A quote from Guru Amardas. In the body is everything, higher realms and nether world. In the body resideth the Almighty Lord Himself, who sustaineth all. In the body in thy body are gems, rubies, and storehouses of devotion. In this body is the treasure of Nam, the word of God, which by the grace of the Guru is obtained. Pipa, quote by Pipa, Pipa or Pipa. He who pervades the universe also dwells in the body. Who seeks shall find him there. Sath Pipa, God is the primal being. The true Guru shall reveal him. And here's a quote from Christ. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And I'll, I'll leave off here. 
So when we, when growing up, when I attended satsang, um, and then now as an adult, I was taught that we were taught that, um, when, so, you know, like in anything, like even in church. So like, if you, we sing devotional songs, hymns, so we also read from the scriptures and this is the Holy scriptures and this gives the mind, this bathes the mind and the soul with beautiful words, with beautiful truth. And so it gives the soul food and it prepares the mind to sit in meditation, to sit in prayer and devotion, if you choose so. Let me read this again by Christ. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. One more time. Guru Ramdas, the human body is a city. The rarest of gems and rubies there await thee. Acquire them by devotion and service to the Sadhguru. Devotion, devotion, devotion to God. God is the primal being. God is within us all. This is so beautiful too. Guru Armor Das, in thy body is everything, higher realms and nether world. In the body resideth the Almighty Lord Himself, who sustaineth all. In the body are gems, rubies, and storehouses of devotion. In this body is the treasure of Nam, the word of God, which by the grace of the Guru is obtained. Guru Amar Das. Go in peace and Namaste. Thank you for joining.